Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM with Miss Crosman. Today we're going to be looking at a book called Tippy 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 Hide. And this book goes along with another book that I love that I use in my kindergarten classrooms every year called Muncha Muncha Muncha. It's by the same author and it has the same characters in it. So this is a winter time problem solving book. Now in this book, the farmer has a problem with some rabbits and he goes through a bunch of different solutions to try and figure out how to solve his problem that he has with the rabbits. However, none of them are very successful. They all have their drawbacks. So what I'd like you to try and do today after listening to the story is to design a solution for the farmer's problem. First, you have to identify the problem. Then you're going to need to brainstorm some different solutions and then I want you to build one of those solutions. Now in class we often use Legos as the way to build the solution to this problem. However, you can use whatever you have on hand. If you've got some dominoes, if you've got some wooden planks, if you've got cardboard boxes, whatever you think it is that will solve this particular problem. So listen to the story and then get creative and solve the farmer's problem. Tippy 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 Hide by Candace Fleming and G. Brian Karras. Winter was coming and Mr. McGreeley was getting ready. Down went his hammock, up went his storm windows, out went his shovel, in went his garden hose. Then Mr. McGreeley flopped into his easy chair, flipped up his footrest and opened his book. Ah, he sighed, time to snuggle in for winter. But, Tippy 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 Pat. Naka naka naka. Oh no, said Mr. McGreeley when he saw three little bunnies begging on his doorstep. I shared my carrots with you, but I'm not sharing my house. Now hop off, scram, shoo, bam, he slammed the door. That night, a chill wind blew. Then tippy 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 wiggle through the mail slot tippy jiggle. Three little bunnies cozy inside. Now tippy 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 hide. The next morning, Mr. McGreeley reached for a banana, but all he found was tail fluff. Some bunnies been in my fruit, he cried. So he searched high and low, but the bunnies were nowhere to be found. Those pesky puff tails, fumed Mr. McGreeley. They got in one time, but they won't get in twice. And tap, tap, he nailed the mail slot shut. That night, an icy rain prickled down. Then tippy, tippy, tippy jumped down the chimney tippy bump. Three little bunnies cozy inside. Now tippy 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 hide. The next morning Mr. McGreeley flopped into his easy chair but instead of a fluffy pillow all he found was a sooty paw print. Some bunnies been in my chair he hollered. So he searched here and there high and low but the bunnies were nowhere to be found. Those naughty wiggle noses, seeds Mr. McGreeley. They got in two times, but they won't get in three. And shove, stuff, huff, he plugged the chimney up. That night, a thick snow fell. Then tippy, 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 dangle, through the window, tippy, tangle. Three little bunnies cozy inside. Now tippy, 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 hide. The next morning, Mr. McGreeley pulled back his shower curtain, but instead of shampoo and a loofah, he found nose smudges. Some bunnies been in my tub, he bellowed. So he searched above and below, here and there, high and low, but the bunnies were nowhere to be found. Those infuriating flop ears, flared Mr. McGreeley. They got in three times, but they won't get in four. And hammer, bam, smack, slam, he boarded up all the windows. That night, the wind howled and the temperature dropped down, down, down. Then tippy, 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 heap, turn the doorknob, tippy, creep. Three little bunnies cozy inside, now tippy, 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 hide. The next morning, Mr. McGreeley opened his eyes, but instead of his teddy bear next to him, all he found was bunny drops. Some bunny's been in my bed, he yelled. So he searched over and under, above and below, here and there, high and low, but the bunnies were nowhere to be found. Blast those wily twitch whiskers, raged Mr. McGreeley. I'll show them. They got in four times, but they absolutely positively won't get in five. And mix, slap, smear, stack. He bricked in both his doors. 
Only a super bunny could get through that, declared Mr. McGreeley. Then tired but triumphant, he flopped into his easy chair, flipped up his footrest, and opened his book. Ah, he sighed, no more bunnies. And he snuggled in to wait the winter out. At last one morning, Mr. McGreeley sniffed the air and declared, spring has sprung. So he closed his book, climbed out of his easy chair, and peeked between the cracks of his boarded up windows. He saw tiny new leaves, tender young shoots, fresh green sprouts, and bunnies. Mr. McGreeley pushed and rammed, he pounded and bammed, pulled and kicked and shook and slammed, but he couldn't get out of his house. Tippy, 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 smash. Muncha, muncha, muncha.